Ah. Oh, I doubt that. She may not like him, but she will follow her orders. She is just the leader on the ground here, I think. Someone else is calling the shots behind cover. All right. But what's the end game here? Say I die and we can't stop them. Then what? Are they even capable of forming a real government? Do they think the people here would support Dolzaev? Hmm. Good question, Stovarich. History shows it is a much easier thing to take a government than to keep it. An unpopular regime can only ignore the will of the people for so long before they rise up. And trying to do all this with PMC soldiers? Difficult. And very, very expensive. Someone else must be bankrolling this for their own reasons. Someone with very deep pockets. Who stands to benefit the most from all this? Most likely someone with an interest in that refinery. The plant has pipelines connecting with Sochi in Russia and Supsa in Georgia. Crude oil from the Caspian Sea is refined in Sikumi and then sent on to Russia. Oil. I wonder if Dozaev knows he's being used. Then again, I wonder if he'd even care. Get all that, Kev? The woman with Dozaev. That's Mistral? Yep. The only female member of the Winds of Destruction. The name is from... A cold, dry, regional wind in France that blows from the Alps down to the Mediterranean. She French? Yep. Born in Algeria, though. It was a French colony until they declared independence in the early 60s. Ah, <laughs> but you already knew that. Yeah. They were the last French colony in Africa. You know your history. Plenty of French colonial families still live there. Bied Noir, they're called. I've heard the term. The main character in that Camus novel, The Stranger, was one. You also find a lot of Algerians who've immigrated to France. Although they put a stop to that a while ago. Yeah. A lot of European countries seem to be clamping down on immigration lately. Miss Stroll joined the Foreign Legion to get her citizenship. A woman legionnaire? And not the first. There was one that served in the North Africa campaign during World War II. Anyway, Miss Stroll's been doing PMC work ever since her Legion discharge. We're not sure why she went cyborg. She's officially leading the force at the refinery, but she is also a combatant. I uh, don't have anything on her combat style, but do not underestimate her. The Winds of Destruction are trained killers, all of them. They didn't let her in because of her looks. I don't need a reminder. I won't let my guard down. Yeah, but, um, speaking of her looks, she's got, well, I mean, a couple of, I mean, huge, look, just don't get distracted, okay? <laughs> Sounds like you should take your own advice there, Kev. How we doing, Courtney? You're looking good on our end. GPS and audio-visual feed coming in fine. Energy consumption, check. Damage levels, check. Blood pressure, brain waves, blood sugar, check, check, check. All this monitoring equipment, I got a better view than if I was standing right next to you. Anyway, I'll be saving all your data automatically anytime something important happens in the field. But contact me anytime you want a manual save. Copy that. Good to hear that hasn't changed with this new body. Yep, the basic system's exactly the same. Ooh. So, did you want to save? And save complete. Simple, huh? Copy. And glad to hear you're okay after Africa. That ambush was no joke. <sighs> Tell me about it. Three armored vehicles should have been plenty for that job. And it would have been against any typical guerrilla force. I keep asking myself, where would an anti imani faction get the cash to hire cyborgs? It just doesn't add up. Maybe there's some intel I missed. A lead I should have followed up on. Maybe if I reacted faster or coordinated better. I don't know. You can't think that way, Courtney. Not in this business. You did everything you could. Put it behind you and move on. You're right. Thanks. Hi, 
Shall we review the capabilities of your new body? Copy that. Go ahead, Doc. As we discussed, you've been outfitted with two revolutionary new abilities. Fuel electrolyte absorption and self-repair from C's nano paste. Precisely. First, electrolyte absorption. This is simplicity itself. As your HF blade is linked directly to your fuel cells, simply cut into any source of electrolytes. Say, a hostile cyborg made up of CNT muscle fiber. And your fuel cells will recharge on their own. Rather elegant, wouldn't you say? I would indeed. It's been great so far. But, ah, the repair process is a bit more involved. A bit more messy, you might say. Most military cyborg models store a cache of biotic self-repair nanopaste in their lower abdomen. So I need to slice them open and use Zandatsu to extract it. Cut and take, in other words. Correct. Once extracted, you need only to crush this unit in your hand to absorb the repairing agent inside. Keep in mind, it is extremely delicate. If the unit should hit the ground, some paste will surely leak out. It will still repair your body, but less so than if you can retrieve it directly before your foe falls over. Basically, harvest their organs before their body can even hit the ground. Rather gruesome, I realize. But then you Americans enjoy a bit of gore, don't you? I may be a citizen, but I've never really thought of myself as American. Oh? Hmm. Well, yes, I suppose I could understand that given your history. But what then? Surely you don't identify as a Liberian. I don't identify with anyone. No nation. No ethnic group. I'm my own man. Anyway, I seem to recall those gory torture porn movies were pretty popular in Germany, too. Indeed, indeed. These splatter films are big in Germany, Russia, Japan, everywhere. Well, everywhere except regions afflicted by actual warfare. It all has to do with taming our fears, you know? Huh? The desire to feel fear, to taste death, but from a safe distance. These films allow the viewer to delude themselves into thinking they have overcome their fears. This... Okay, uh, okay, Doc, I, I got the gist. Let's save the full psych lecture for some other time, though, huh?
body comes equipped with a technique we call blade mode. Let's begin by assuming the fighting position. Good. Now use blade mode to strike all of the targets. Remember, blade mode exacts a heavy toll on your fuel cells. Replenish your energy by attacking enemies. Your blade will absorb their electrolytes automatically. Try restoring your fuel cells back to maximum now. Standard cyborgs you can dismember immediately, no problem. Other foes will not fall so easily. You will first need to attack and damage them to some degree. And now, the Zandatsu technique, or the stab and grab as some call it. Activate blade mode with full fuel cells and you will automatically analyze the ideal cutting position. Execute it successfully and you will seize your full self-repair unit and restore some of your vitality. Now, try it for yourself. Take the enemy's repair unit before he falls. Review special attacks. Approach a target from the rear or above without being noticed. And you can eliminate them with a single strike. I call it the ninja kill. Finally, a word about your enhanced AR. Enhanced AR adds several layers of information to your augmented reality vision. Use it for additional intel on your enemies or to see new aspects of your surroundings. Just remember, enhanced AR is automatically disabled as soon as you attack.